Today, Russian President Vladimir Putin says he has pulled back his troops from the Ukrainian border, although the Pentagon tells us this evening there's no evidence that that's happened. In eastern Ukraine, government troops and pro-Russian militias are battling for control in several towns, and Clarissa Ward was right in the middle of it. We arrived in the city of Mariupol to find a furious pro-Russian crowd assaulting a man they accused of stealing as the Ukrainian police feebly tried to protect him. Emotions were already running high. The night before, Ukrainian security forces launched an offensive to take back control from pro-Russian separatists. The police finally rushed the man away. Looking for a new target, the crowd began moving towards the town hall. The Ukrainian military took back this town hall that was under the control of pro-Russian militants. And now a large crowd of locals has gathered here and they're shouting at the police, why don't you support the people? Many in the city want closer ties with Russia and view the government in Kiev as hostile. These are normal people standing here. Look, look, this resident told us, and they send mercenaries to attack us. Many believe that U.S. support for the government in Kiev is responsible for the violence here. We have to drop a bomb on the White House, this woman shouted. As the crowd grew more agitated, the Ukrainian forces suddenly, and without explanation, turned on their heels and walked away. The crowd erupted with joy. Russia, Russia, they chanted. In this conflict, success is measured by who controls the town hall. A man took down the Ukrainian flag, replacing it with the regional flag, a symbol here of independence. Victory, if only for today. Ukraine's defense ministry says that it is in control of the city of Mariupol, but clearly it's a very fluid situation. And certainly what we saw today, Scott, really calls into question the effectiveness and even the very objective of the Ukrainian military strategy here. Clarissa Ward covering eastern Ukraine for us tonight. Clarissa, thank you.